Hey YouTube, I am back, and it's been a, been a while, been a fat minute, um, I have been on here for very important reasons, and, well, I'm just out. um, there are reasons that I'm not gonna talk about on my YouTube, that's the, there's certain stuff that I will keep very private on this YouTube, and the situation that I was gone for is going to stay private. But, um, the only thing that I can say is it's been rough, and it's been a minute, but I am back. And I am so sorry if I look my absolute worst. The one thing that I will talk about, um is I wanted to go over books, okay, because I am very opinionated with books, and a lot of people have recommended me that, um, what's that girl's name? She's so popular right now, and the one time that I'm ready to talk about it, I can't think of her name, but she has, like, a whole book series, and she's so popular, and everybody keeps telling me, hey, you need to read her books, but... Let me just tell you all that I have a whole entire bookshelf of books that I've barely read, okay? So I've decided to make it my mission that I'm going to actually go through and read all of my books, okay? Like, actually, I have a problem where I'll read, like, two or three chapters, if not half the book, and then I just stop for some reason. I just stop. And I'm going to put myself to the task of fully reading all of my books. And the first book that I decided to start with was this book called Tudor. And if you're somebody that has read the book and you like it, that's great. I'm happy for you. But um, me personally, not a big fan of it. I found it boring. Um, there just... There wasn't anything going on. And... It, it just wasn't, it wasn't my thing. I didn't care for it. So, if you're somebody that, I'm going to go over the book with you. And if you're somebody that would like to read it, um, then I suggest you go get it. This book is based on an interracial couple. And it's back and forth, interracial stuff. People not liking interracial couples, okay? Okay. Uh, pretty much the dude's sister isn't a fan of the girl that the guy wants to be with. She's a white girl, he's a black guy, it's a whole interracial thing. And this girl does lessons with him to teach him how to read and stuff. And I'm not going to go into too much detail with it because I don't want to spoil the book. But it's not... It was just not enough for me. Like, I need a book with a lot of action in it, I guess. A lot of fantasy world. And this was just not it for me. Uh, I thought, for some reason when I saw Tutored, I was thinking of, oh, like, the Tudors, you know? Or, like, like some spicy, like, not to sound weird, but, like, some teacher-student thing or something. Like, I was like, Tudors? Maybe it's, like, spicy. You know what I mean? No. No, it wasn't. It was kind of boring. But if you're... If you're an interracial couple, I think this would be a nice book. And it's... I mean, it's about interracial stuff. I think it would be a nice book. And the end is super sweet. It's like bittersweet. And I just think that this is a good book if you're somebody that... I don't know, if you're just more laid back, want a simple, like, simple, sweet, there's not really much going on in the book to me, but I'm not going to sit here and say that it's a bad book, because it is a good book, okay, it is, it's a very good book, but it's just, it's not enough for me, so, I do recommend it, though, if anybody wants to read it, it's called Tutored, it is by Allison Wittenberg, and it's... It's not a bad book. It's pretty decent. The book that I am on now that I actually am kind of enjoying, and I'll explain to you why I enjoy it. Um, 
It's called Speed of Life. It's by Carol Weston. And it's honestly cute. And it's just like middle school, high school girl cute, okay? I don't know how to explain that any better of a way than middle school, high school girl cute, okay? It's like girls in school and they're talking about boys and life happening and it's a whole thing. Um, it, it shows you as it is when you're reading it, so I'm just going to tell you. This girl has lost her mom. She's very young and she's trying to figure out her way through life without a mother figure. And it's... It's just so cute and interesting to me. And I'll explain more why I like it in a second. Um, I'm making coffee, so... Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this because I didn't think about it. Okay, so another reason why I like this book a lot is because it goes through a whole year, okay? And what I mean by that is if you're somebody that is a slow reading person, as crazy as that sounds, I'm a very slow reading person. Am I going to read it this way? No, because that's just, I'm very interested in it, so I'll probably go through the book in no time because I think it's really cute. But, um, if you're somebody that likes to very slowly read, take their time. Because I used to be that way with books. I'm not now, but I used to be that way when I was first really getting into reading. Um, this book goes through a whole year. And what I mean by that is it goes, um, the chapters go by every month. So, like, chapter one is going to be January, okay? Chapter two is going to be February, and so on and so forth until it gets back to January at the end of the book. And I actually really enjoy that, you know? Also, this is not the coffee brand that I really like to use. This is just what uh, I grabbed where I was at because my coffee that I love so much is at Walmart. And guess where I ain't about to go by myself ever? Walmart. Y'all want to go by yourself? Go for it. But I'm not trying to get trafficked at the easiest place on the planet, which is Walmart. So, I was not about to go there for my coffee. No, I don't have a... When I tell you that I think I threw my important scoop away... Like, not even, it, it doesn't even go with the thing, and I threw it away. It was mine. I own it. So, it's just a super cute book, and I'm really into it right now. Hopefully, I stay into it. I already have my next book plan that I'm going to read. Or, actually, you can help me take a vote on it. Because I was either going to read Close My Eyes, or I was going to read Prophecy of the Sisters. 
and Prophecy of the Sisters, I was reading it, and it honestly freaked me out the last time I read it. I just hadn't finished it for some reason. Like, I think something came up, and my mind was too preoccupied to finish that book. And when I'm not, when I haven't read a book in a while, I have to restart the book. Because I just, I have to. I'm not going to remember shit, so. Um, but, yeah, those are my next books. This is the book I'm currently reading now, and I'm so excited. I've already, I'm already on February Actually, I'm a little bit into February. I wanted to read February along with January yesterday, and I wasn't able to do that. But, yeah. So, this is a really cute book. I also recommend this book. Um, I'll show you the other books that I plan on reading next. I just don't know which one I want to read Next, I have a lot of books to get through, okay? I have a lot, because I have a lot of books. And the reason why I wanted to read all of my books and go through them is because I was like, I have all these books, and I don't even know if I like all of them. Like, why the frick do I have them on my shelf? You know, it's kind of dumb in a way. Um, this is Close My Eyes. I've read it before. So interesting. But for some reason, I just stopped, like, I, look how far I am. You can see, if you can't see the bent piece, then I will definitely show it to you. Somebody needs me. So I'm going to grab the other book, and then we're going to, like, walk over here. So sorry you're up my nose right now. Okay. I don't want my kids on the camera anymore, honestly, but this one is like crying and uh, I'm trying to do it all at once. Here, come here. Come here. Lilas is super big now. He sits up on his own. He crawls around everywhere. It's crazy. And Bub is so handsome. And doing so good. Yeah. He's so chubby, too. It's so cute. So, close my eyes. Um, I'm going to give you a tiny spoiler, but it's not the whole book, okay? But, basically, somebody, like, stole her baby or something in, like, the first chapter of this book. And I think her man cheated. It's just super, like, right off the bat, just head-on interesting. So... Definitely recommend this. I don't know why it wasn't the first thing that I read, but I was like, you know, maybe I should get these books out of the way first and then get to what's the most interesting, in my opinion. So, and then this book is called Prophecy of the Sisters. And I've already, I don't know if I've read through this book or just half of it. I can't remember. So that's why I've decided to read it again. And on top of that, it's a really good book, anyways. But what's creepy is that there's people in this book. Named after people in my lifetime. Like, my my friend group. Like, there's a Drew in here. I'm pretty sure there's a guy named, like, Chandler in here. A Robert in here. Like, there's... The way that they describe the two sisters reminds me of me and my sister so much. Um, there's a lot in here that, like, goes hand in hand with actual life with me. Even though it's like a whole fantasy book, I guess. So it's just really interesting. So interesting. Um, and then I was going to say, I will show you. I've read all the way to right. I think it was, like, right here, if not more. So, I haven't read a crap ton, but I read a good amount of this book a long time ago. So, these are my next two options. I haven't decided which one I'm going to read first. I haven't decided. Because I've been really excited to read Close My Eyes. But Prophecy of the Sisters is just so interesting to me. Also, I, I know my hair looks bad. It looks greasy. It probably looks like it's... Hella bald in some spots. You see that automatic split there? 
Yeah, it's because I've been so stressed that my hair is literally falling out in clumps. And I'm not even kidding. I've been so stressed that my hair is falling out into clumps. And that's why my hair's pulled back. Okay? I just put some oil in it that I got. Because my hair, my scalp is really dry anyways. So I have to keep oil on it. Sometimes put some in when it gets super dry and itchy. And then it goes away. But I am trying to get my hair back in a better place. Is this difficult? Ooh, that sounds. Ta-ha! But like you really need it, there can be no turning back. Yeah, there you go. You can see him using his hand. There you go. He says Baba and Mama and Dada. He says them all. Say hi. Look, it's the butterfly. She wants us to follow. Also, his eyes look brown on camera, but they're blue, so that's really weird that they look brown. Okay, but I just wanted to come on here and give a quick hi and just talk. But as far as my situation in life has gone and why I've been gone for so long, I will not discuss that. And um. It's something that I don't even like having to discuss, and um, I'm going to get worked up talking about it. It's just difficult, so, um, it's been a lot on my shoulders, and YouTube has always been, like, kind of an escape place to me, so I would rather get on here and talk about anything else than my situation, okay? And I'm sorry if you came to watch this video and you wanted me to talk about my situation, but it's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. But I did want to go over books, and I just wanted to go over everything and just show you all that Lilas is, like, all big now and grown. It's crazy. And he's seven months. And he's climbing everything. He latches. Look, he there he goes. Latches onto my arm. That's what he does. Words, if I have my toes laying out, if Robert has his toes and laying out, he's going to go for our toes because he's teething. He has his bottom teeth coming in. He just latches there. So, I'm going to put you here because I have to get diaper stuff and I'll be right back. It's okay. But I am going to get off here, so... My lips are so dry. I'm so sorry. Good grief. Um, thank you all for watching, though. And I very much appreciate it. And also, please, whatever book that I definitely recommend, check it out. Because I'm not going to give you a sucky book. The only reason why I'm bringing up this book, though, is because if you're somebody that is an interracial couple, I honestly do think this would be a good book. And I... I just think, like, it's a good love interracial story, you know? So, I recommend that. And, since I'm done reading this book, this is a book that I'm actually going to get rid of. I'll, I'll donate it or something, but I definitely don't need it. So, honestly, if you want this book, hit me up. <laughs> I'll give it to you. But, um... Yeah, just thanks for watching, and I'm sorry I look so bad, but I've been going through a time. And also, this is a book that I recommend, okay? If I get to the end of it and I actually don't like it, then I'll probably come on here and have a whole range about it, and I'm sorry. Um, definitely recommend Prophecy of the Sisters. I love fantasy books, I think it's an awesome book. And this book, Close My Eyes so amazing. First hand reading the first chapter right off the bat, just amazing. So I think that that's a book that's definitely worth reading. So thank you all for watching and I hope that you all enjoyed. Bye!